Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the brand new Nokia 9 Pure View, which is Nokia's latest handset. Very nice uh, looking handset here. We do have uh, six cameras on this beast, as well as an inbuilt fingerprint scanner, uh, as well as six gigs of RAM. Uh, very high end specs all around for not the highest price. I think you can get them for about 550. Uh, odds so much cheaper than the main brands uh, so we're just going to unbox this and have a look at what uh, it looks like here so we can uh, see if it's any good it looks a bit bug-eyed to me but you know I'm not uh, I'm not too fussy as long as it's a nice phone with good performance so quite a nice presentation here as you can see this is the the device let's just get it open oh look at that that is a nice piece of phone uh, so that uh, those camera arrangements is very distinctive I mean no one is going to like uh, think you boring with that kind of setup if you're looking at it from like if you're using the phone uh, obviously it is more of a camera phone so most people will be using the camera here uh, but generally very nice build quality they've stepped it up from the uh, Nokia 8 uh, which was good in itself but it didn't feel quite as premium uh, as some of the other Nokia handsets but they've kind of brought the slab like feel over here uh, which is nice and also uh, it feels very uh, light in the hand, which is good. Uh, it's quite a big phone, so you know you're gonna have to have quite a big hand if you're gonna enjoy this. Uh, but you can see there's minimal kind of bezels, so they are making use of the screen here, and it looks absolutely fantastic here. I like the Nokia logo as well, it reminds me of the old days. Uh, you're getting your Type C. Do you get a headphone jack? Unfortunately, not. So that is pretty unfortunate, you will have to use an adapter, but nevertheless, let's see what else you get in the box here. So I'm guessing you might get uh, an adapter uh, to go with it. That would be nice. So you can see we are getting the adapter here. Uh, you're getting a pair of earphones, which is quite cool as well. Uh, you can see they look pretty decent, Nokia branded, if you can see that. Uh, standard cable, as you can see. On this side, I'm guessing this is the fast charger. As you can see, that is the charger here. How fast are we going? So it's uh, coming with some nice output, two amps. I assume it's quick charge, three. I don't think it's running the latest processor, so for those of you spec, you know, spec hungry, it is coming with I think last gen's processor, but you know, the, for the price you can't really complain, it's cutting into the uh, OnePlus kind of territory here, and we are going to boot it up. This is an Android One phone, so no silliness when it comes to the software. Very nice and clean. And this is uh, like a little comparison here. You can see the size is very similar to the OnePlus 6T, which I do use as my main phone. Uh, so you can see, you know, if you can handle something like the OnePlus, this is very easy to handle. Uh, so we're just going to connect to the Wi Fi. screen looks pretty decent is it OLED? that is a good question, I don't know actually a little bit of uh, kind of dullness when you go right to the corner, I don't think it's quite as good as your OnePlus but yeah, you know it looks like it'll do the job so let's just go through this nice and quick skip skip uh, 
to get rid of that. Face unlock is supported. Uh, what's this? Raw images. So they're basically saying download the Adobe if you want to get the most out of it, uh, which is quite cool. And we're in already, as you can see. Very nice, quick, settled process here. No messing around. Uh, so that's how bright the display does get. As you can see, very bright indeed. Uh, you can definitely uh, make out everything here with this display. Very bright. Actually, you're going to have to turn it down a little bit. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice. You can see the software here. Uh, looks... Uh, Wow, that's a bit weird. Usually, when you scroll up, it just goes up with the app draw, but for some reason on this, it goes to the recent items. So maybe it is running like a little bit of Nokia customization. Something to get used to, I guess. But nevertheless, it's a fresh experience. Uh, let's check out the main thing here, the camera boy. So quite a massive delay there when it comes to actually getting into it. Uh, and the screen looks pretty red when it comes to uh, the camera here. Is that correct? Oh, there's something covering it. Let me just try and give it a wipe. So I've just uh, wiped it down. It looks a bit better now. But it looked really red then. Uh, so let's just try and take a picture here. And this is the result. Whoa, so it's still processing there. You can see it took quite a while. Maybe these software bugs will be uh, ironed out, but you can see very nice and sharp here. Uh, from just one little shot uh, really makes the phone stand out uh, but it's very uh, slow you can see the camera app here taking ages to do anything maybe if you install the Google uh, camera like I have on my OnePlus you get a better experience probably gonna check if that is possible but you can see these are the resolutions and I'm guessing uh, video so it's gone back to that kind of red tinge to it again I think the auto bright uh, sorry white balance is a bit out of whack uh, but this is the uh, 4k options ultra HD 4k HDR so very nice uh, options there, as you can see very fully featured and uh, it looks like a pretty nice camera experience. Uh, let's have a look at your wallpapers and round the video off. So it looks like you got your stock kind of builds here. Nothing too different. Uh, these are recognized from Nokia phones of the past. So a bit of a negative there. No real effort made for the kind of uh, you know wallpapers I do like new wallpapers now and again uh, but yeah you know look at this very nice uh, kind of fluidity here so look at the display options does it tell you what it is pure display what's that so vivid we'll put that on uh, you got your double tap to wait there uh, so glance view Will that come on? So you can just double tap it as you can see. Uh, very nice looking handset. We'll be doing some comparisons of this one with some more uh, expensive phones to see you know how it does compete here. Uh, I definitely think Nokia you know is getting better and better when it comes to the quality. Uh, I think uh, eventually they'll probably be on par. Uh, with OnePlus when it comes to like the budget flagship kind of range uh, So yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers